Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my Halloween nails. Everyone loved these nails last year, but I decided this year I would do a twist because I did not want to do the same nails. Um, this is the polish I used. I don't know if that's the color number or what it is, but there it is. It's like a nudish brown. Um, it's more pale for my skin tone, but it's cute, you know. So what I do is I'm going to go in with that polish and I'm going to do two coats. I do two coats of each polish because on the ring finger, I'm sorry if y'all can hear Donna is scratching, but on the ring finger and the pinky finger, I did two different colors. I did black and like a darker brown, um, but I didn't show me doing the two coats. Donna, you're so rude, but I go in with two coats on each polish color. I absolutely love this nail design because it's very simple. Um, it's simple, but it's very cute and very Halloween-ish. Um, I did it last year, and like I said, everyone loved it, including me. And so I thought I would run it back. <laughs> but like I said, I wanted to do the two fingers, uh, my ring finger and my pinky finger different because I didn't want to do the same exact thing last year as last year so um, I did a twist a switch um, so the three my thumb my pointer finger and my middle finger will be the blood splatter nails um, that's the darker color I used on my ring finger but those three will be the blood splatter nails that finger that I'm painting the ring finger is going to be the one that I put um, scream I did the little scream mask uh, design on that one and then my pinky I did a little ghost a little cute little ghost <laughs> um, honestly I like the ghost but next time if I do again do this again I probably wouldn't do the ghost or I would do the ghost on all the nails because I mean the ghost was cute but to me it didn't fit as much as like scream but um, it was cute I did like it everybody still liked it so I kept it that way So for each layer, I cured it for 2 minutes total. Um, my lamp does it for 60 seconds each thing, um, just to be sure it was cured. Um, I used regular polish, but if you have gel, I would highly recommend gel. Um, that's the matte coat I use. Um, mostly because regular nail polish, the smell, I forgot how much it smells. It's terrible. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the matte coat first. Um, I did the nails matte because it looks better with the blood. But what I would, well no, I would keep, I would do the matte first and then do the blood splatter. I was gonna say maybe do the blood splatter and then go in with the matte. But to me, with the regular polish, it went on the matte better. But if you did gel, you probably could do the blood splatter and then go in with the matte. Um, but you know. Do what you are. I went in with the matte first. For some reason, I only did the blood splatter nails matte, and then afterwards, I went in and did the other two. I don't know why I didn't do them all at the same time, um, but it is what it is. But I did end up putting matte on those two, but you'll see that later on in the video. Also, the toothbrush I showed in the beginning is like it's the toothbrush I used last year when I did the blood splatter I would recommend getting a new toothbrush or like you know one you don't care about uh, I wouldn't use one that you already had like polish on because it definitely made it more difficult to do but it it obviously was achievable 
but it definitely would have took less time I think if I would have gotten a new toothbrush I was just lazy at that point and I was like well I already have this toothbrush so I'm gonna use it and that's exactly what I did <laughs> um also I have a red gel polish but that one was like a very vibrant red and this regular nail polish is more dark but I did at the end, I didn't put it in the video because I didn't actually record it, but I did at the end go in with my gel red and put like little bitty dots just to give it some contrast between like dark red and light red. But um, yeah, like I said, I would definitely try to use a gel because the smell was very loud and it was very there. Um, also, too, with the gel, like I said, you could probably go in with the gel and then do the top, the matte top coat. That way you don't have to put top the matte top coat so many times. Because, see, I put the matte, then I put the polish, let the polish dry. Then I had to go in with another matte coat and then put gloss on top to give it a contrast. So, to avoid putting matte so many times, you could just do... The bottom polish or the base polish do the blood and then put matte and then go in with the polish the um what am i trying to say the shiny blood like the polished blood that's not matte so yeah i would recommend that So here I'm just going in with the polish brush and making bigger splatters. Uh, you want to be as irregular as possible just to, you know, ensure that it looks like real blood splatter. Don't forget the side of the nails. Um, oftentimes when I do my nails on this little stand, I neglect the side of them <laughs> for some reason. So don't neglect the side of the nails. You want to just make sure you just put it everywhere. Um, honestly, I would go in with like even bigger blood splatters. Mine were, they had some bigger ones, but I would have gone in with an even bigger one. Just to make sure it looked as realistic as I could make it. But you also don't want to do them too big because then it's going to be like, okay, no. But yeah, see, I'm going in with the matte top coat again to make it matte. And then I'm going to go in and do some more blood splatter, but I'm going to keep that shiny. It just gives a nice contrast. Um, that way you have some of the blood. It kind of sticks out. It's kind of like bulky. So it looks like actual blood is on the finger. I hope I'm making sense. I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I also made the mistake of not wiping off the nails after I filed them at the beginning with alcohol and so um, y'all might see a little lifting from the polish, the gel polish on the nails. So make sure y'all wipe the nails off with alcohol so it doesn't do that. Um, now I'm doing the ghost 
this design actually, like I said, all of the designs on these nails were easy. Um, the one that was maybe the trickiest was the scream design. But like this ghost was very simple. Um, you just kind of do like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. You can look and see like what I'm doing. Um, just fill it in and then towards the end I went and applied eyes. For the white on this design and on the screen design, I went in with, I believe, two layers of the white polish. Um, just to make sure that it was opaque enough because I didn't want any of the black showing through. So I went in with two layers. I did a layer, cured it, and then did another layer. So right now I'm taking the black and I'm gonna do the eyes of the scream person. I already did the mouth. I don't know why it cut from me carrying and the mouth is already done. I don't know what happened to the footage of me doing the mouth. I don't know, but um, this is me doing the eyes. The eyes to me, well the eyes and the nose were kind of difficult to do because it was like if you didn't do it right it didn't look like scream it just looked like black blobs <laughs> it just looked like black blobs on the nail so i kept trying to make sure i um shaped them correctly so that way they would look right um actually i think i do remember what happened I believe I ended up wiping it off, wiping off the eyes, because I think this was my second time trying to do them. I believe the first time I wiped them off, which is probably why the mouth is done. And the others weren't? Okay, no, no. I lied. Okay, I'm sorry. I lied to y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I had the mouth done, but, um... This is my second attempt. I did get it right the second time. Um, I figured out how to do the nose. I, fig I figured out that the nose was making or breaking it. And the scream nose is shaped like an upside down heart. So I ended up using this. I have this cuticle pusher with the little toothpick end. Like little pointy end that I have that I put gel on to make it more round. And I put that, I put black on that and then did dots. That way they would look more like a heart. Because I couldn't do a heart with that brush. It was difficult. Very difficult. Um, you'll see it. Yeah, so that little cuticle thing. See, it has like, I put gel at the end and cured it to make it round. That way um, I can do like dots with it. So I used that for the nose and made an upside down heart. 
And when I tell y'all it was so much easier, man, I'm telling y'all, it was so easy. So right here, I'm just putting the eyes on the ghost. Um, that's why I said it. The, the ghost was cute, you know. But to me, it didn't fit in with the other nails too well because it wasn't like, I don't know. It's a ghost. Ghost, I mean, it just didn't look like a serious ghost, you know. Like, if I would have done maybe like a, a realistic looking ghost, which I mean, how can you make a ghost realistic? I don't know. It just looked very cartoonish compared to the rest. Y'all get what I'm saying. I don't know. Um, it was cute. I just, I probably would have done a different, I probably would do a different design next time. Maybe like some spider webs or something. But I do plan on doing some different fall nails. Um, with like spider webs and like pumpkins and stuff like that. So, I can just do that next time. But, um, yeah, I just cured it, and I basically just went over everything again, you know, just to make it opaque. That way you're not seeing any of the white come through, and it looks more realistic. So last minute decision, I decided to go ahead and add blood to the ring finger and pinky finger. To me, it just seemed like it would fit more. Um, not that they didn't fit before, but I mean, if you're going to have blood splatter, you're going to have it splatter on all your nails, not just three of them. <laughs> so last minute decided to add it to the other two nails. I also went over the other nails again, the three with the blood splatter, just to make more shiny blood splatter. Cause at the beginning, you know, I put the matte over the blood. So you wanna bring, uh, you wanna put a glossy coat on some of them to make it more realistic. So some of them are gonna stay matte. Some of them are gonna stay um, shiny. So what I'm doing is I started going over with the clear regular polish but when I tell y'all like I said the smell is terrible I decided to just go over it with the gel polish instead um, plus it would dry faster with gel but you I basically only put the clear on top of the bigger splatters I don't put it on the smaller splatters I leave those matte Here's the finished product. I absolutely loved how they came out. Um, I got so many compliments on them. 
Um, of course, at the end, there's a video of me out in the sun with them on my nails. I absolutely adored them. Uh, let me know what y'all think about them. If y'all try them, be sure to let me know. Y'all can tag me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video.